I am going back to school. What are you trying to say, Abby? I just had it. What was that? You're not organized. That's not nice. What do we think? So I never thought I would fall a victim to this, but I did. I had COVID. So the overconsumption that I used to partake in, it's not going to be like that. That's the update, guys. I Most people don't know. I actually, oh, someone was asking me about like fashion content. I don't think I'm gonna be making any fashion content like that. I've been in a house being a bum. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Today I've got a Bible study with my friend Chanel. You probably know her. She has a YouTube channel, she's here on YouTube. So definitely follow her, I'll link her channel. She's like one of the perfect match because you know, she's like a fashion girl. It's nice to talk about God and people that have like similar interests to you. I mean, obviously it's not like the most important thing, but we've been internet friends for so many years now. I can't tell you how long we've been internet friends. It's been so long. Every time for us to meet up we never get a chance to meet up this year it's going to be the year I was hoping to meet her last year when I went to Napa she is in the Bay Area but we didn't get a chance to meet up which is okay you know everything has got timing anyways right today I am back in one of my favorite dress I mean if you guys been following me like in the 2021 era 2020 era actually all about the cottage core this dress from H&M was probably H&M's most successful dress everyone had this little white dress it's so cute like even though this is not necessarily my style anymore i'm gonna reserve this like in the future as like garden dress i feel like when i have a garden this is a dress that i would wear in my garden and everything i decided to bring it out today i was like you know what let me do a little dress and also today i decided to sleep in and not go on my hot girl walk this morning which is very very unlike me this is probably the second time this happened to me and when I tell you, when I start my day with my hat girl walk, it's the best. My days go so much smoother, so much better. But I, I needed the rest too. I've been going to bed super late. I don't know, since I've gotten my stuff, I always find so much to do, so much cleaning to do. And then next thing you know, I look at the time, it's like midnight. And I'm like, what am I doing up at midnight? Which is why it's good to enjoy. That is one thing that I'm always reminding myself, right? Enjoy the moment, the season that you in because so it gets busy. When God is giving you rest, you is putting you into isolation. Just enjoy that time, you know? Go to bed early, get all the rest that you need because time comes when it gets super busy and then you're like, OMG. I would love to be in bed by 9 p.m. I try to go on my walk at like 7.30ish, my evening walks. So I do two walks a day in my morning. And the thing is today I did wake up early. God actually woke me up early today. Sometimes you're gonna go to periods where God's like waking up you like early in the morning because he's trying to talk to you. He was trying to like tell me something. But it's something that he's already told me before but he was kind of like reminding me. So faithful, like God is so good. When he's waking you up on like the four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, it's time for you to just get up, you know, go to the Bible, ask the Holy Spirit where, what he wants you to read. You know, sometimes he's just trying to talk to you and give your message. So yesterday he did wake me up and then I went back to bed. Today I was just like, okay, let me actually get up. So I get up, you know, I got my Bible. I have my little flashlight right next to me. So yeah, I have my little flashlight and then I opened my Bible and then it's like something that he told me earlier this year. This is like the third or fourth time he's waking me up to like tell me that in months. So he's so faithful. He's so good so i'm excited for bible study honestly because again i want more people that i can talk to god it's just so funny sometimes some people when they ask me oh why did you want sex this was like god told me to move here and then they will respond by saying oh, yeah i'm glad you trust your gut and then i'm just like what are you talking about i literally just told you god told me to move here i mean these are like non-believers but hopefully god is using me to tell my story hopefully that can touch them it may not be right now so maybe very soon maybe you know soon down the line they can have their own experience with him maybe that's just like me planting a seed and when i opened my bible again it sent me to look the parable of like the sower how some seeds were like dropped in certain areas and then they died it actually just clicked with me maybe that's what it is you're telling my story and maybe that's just planting some seed in some people's mind and then maybe some of the seeds will fall on the, the concrete and then nothing will go but maybe some of it that falls onto good you know soil will actually go thank you holy spirit for this revelation and i'm gonna sit in the fan over there and drink some water and just relax because i don't know i'm not feeling sick per se but i'm feeling a little like one 
in my mind is because I didn't do my hot girl walk. It feels more like a hangover, but I didn't drink, so I'm definitely not hungover. That I know for sure. I need to get some milk. I wish I could have a matcha right now because I just had some spearmint tea and spearmint can make you like sleepy a little bit. I also did do my <coughs> salt. When I tell you get straws, single-handedly the reason why I drink so much water. Yeah, there's been a lot of like bubble happening in this. It's smelling like paint. It's not smelling sour yet. So today's day 11. So we've got three more days for me to know. Yesterday I tried to do the floating test where you fill up a cup with like water. You drop it in there. If it floats, if it's on top, it means it's ready for baking. It falls on the bottom, that means it's not ready. So at first it stayed on top. I was so excited and then it falls. It went down, so I was just like, oh, not ready yet. Three things in my water every day, all the time. Apple cider vinegar. Honestly, I think that's what the, that's one of the reasons why my belly has just been so flat. I've been doing this for like consistently for, since I've gotten my stuff, two weeks straight now. But when I tell you my belly has gone down considerably, it's insane. I can even see the like outline of my abs in my little workout set when I put it on. But I feel the difference because usually when I sit down, all I can feel is my tummy popping out. Now when I sit, my tummy, my belly goes like this. Like, you know, the fat is like melting away. So I don't drink my water unless I'm out Outside, which I'm rarely outside always 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 put those three things so I put lime a little bit of Celtic salt the apple cider vinegar so good one of the book that I am dying to study it's proverbs I feel like proverbs always reads me to fill so I'm trying to be like a really, really better person and I feel like proverb it's such a great book to study if you really you know want to sanctify yourself do all that good stuff I used to be a judgmental person don't get me wrong I've been working on that God has been working working on me now every time I think of something I you know remember to repent for it immediately so that's been helping me quite a bit that's it guys that's the update really but yeah belly is doing good I've kind of like been weighing myself in the morning now to see but you know one thing that I noticed the week that I ate meatballs I had my lentil salad and meatballs that week was the week that I lost the most weight and I was making my sandwich in the morning with the sourdough bread so every morning for that week I had breakfast sandwich and then I had my lentil salad that's the week I lost the most weight I'll be making a lot of meatballs because meatball is just like so easy to make and then you could just add it to like any meals that you're eating so I'll be eating a lot of meatballs hopefully I can perfect a really really nice recipe the first time I made them they were really good the second time was okay I don't remember what I changed this time around I'm gonna try them again so I need to go to Whole Foods and get some ground beef and I saw this recipe for a kimachi at in uh, Kimari I'm saying that incorrectly but this guy he spent a month in Tanzania Africa there's a salad that he was eating every day called Kamari I don't remember but it looks so good and I've been needing like a new salad. I love my lentil salad, don't get me wrong, but I've been needing something else to try out, something a little bit fresh to try out. I'm going to be trying that salad over the weekend. I will catch you later. Oh, my head feels so heavy. This is the dress. You guys remember this little cute dress. I still have two of it. I've got both. The perfect little house dress and garden dress and then i was looking for house shoe you know what i never wear these shoes why not make these sort of like my cute house shoes i got these in marrakesh at the souk i went back in 2017 i believe yeah you can go to the souk and then just have them make some shoes for you or just buy something that's already made i've got my bible i've got my notebook Guys, guess what? This whole time I thought today was Thursday. Today's actually Wednesday. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm here, got my Bible ready. About to text my friend Chanel because it's 3 05. And then I was like, let me check the date. It's Wednesday. And also, the weather is already out of control in Texas. It's 98 right now. It's gonna be 100 at 5 p.m. I guess it's not going out. LA, it's 83, so it's pretty hot too in LA. Napa is 78. Napa is my fave. Montecito, 76. Montecito is where it's at, honestly. Like, ah, uh, 76 right now in June. Oof, I would love that. It's 92 in New York. Damn, it's pretty hot. Mexico City, 72. Of course, faves. I need to take a trip to Mexico City. I miss it so much. It's one of the places that I wish I could have like a second house. I love it there. I think it would be nicer to have like a house maybe in Oaxaca or like Italy, Tuscany. Oh, Tuscany, my dream. Guanajuato 78. 
all right then never mind my whole plan is kind of like all over the place because i mean i did not want to be on social media today if i'm honest i kind of want to take today off well this changes everything now i've got no plans we well i can edit i can edit a video you know what that should be the plan let me actually go wash my hands i have lotion and sometimes it's a little sticky ish to edit outside is not about to see me i want to make some fried plantain i'm gonna have to go to tom i'm gonna have to walk to tom oof it might be better to go now today i'm trying to do everything that i need to do early so i can go to bed early because i hate that i've been going to bed at like midnight pretty much every day for the past two weeks i don't like that at all plus i'm gonna have to do my steps today Ooh, 99 now we're not we're not gonna play about these sun babes actually this is a little bit too much guys can you please tell me why there's like a 700 dollars accent chair at target like this is is this not target is this cb2 like what is happening this place is, has lost their in mind because be for real the last time i bought accent chair from target they were like 250 bucks i need a couple of accent chairs like the legs don't even look straight i mean i'm pretty sure this is a style but absolutely not I'm going to stick to uh, Facebook Marketplace. Yes, gonna... Texas heat is a different kind of heat. I just went outside. When I walked, it was uh, cloudy. It's literally like going into an oven. Oh, damn. Humidity is at 100. Yeah, that, that was something else that I just experienced. Because on the way, I was just like, okay, this is not so bad. And on the way back, when the sun came out, and I was just like, oh. And I've got Chobani. This is one of my favorites. Right, I got an avocado for tomorrow. As soon as I stepped outside, I put on the AC. I'm glad I can control my thermostat through my app. Um, that's one thing that I could say about your Texas apartment. Everything is so high tech. I love it here. Like, you know, you don't need keys. Everything is done on the app or like a number. Super high tech. You think you know, New York City would be this high tech, but it's not. It's like, it's the ghetto over there. Yeah, I'm craving plantains, so I'm just gonna make plantains. Guess what time it is? It is juice time. What are you trying to say, Abby? I just had it. What was that? You're not organized. That's not nice. Because Abby's will sting oh. me. Hi, fans. Say hi to the fans because they keep asking. They keep asking. <laughs> oh, Lord. Why, why are you so cute? Huh? Don't call me cute, please. You cute. Hello, guys. Happy Monday. Happy July. No, I've been sick for the past seven days, actually. Today is Monday. I forgot. I keep thinking today is Sunday. It feels like a Sunday to me, but that's because I've been sick. I've actually switched my bed over here in the living room. I've been sleeping in the living room. I don't know what it is. For some reason, I feel like I didn't want to bring the disease on my bed. I've actually been sleeping in the living room since I've gotten sick for like five days now, I think. I don't know if my voice changes. I, don't, I can hear it. Like, it's different. Even my mom tells me your voice is still not there yet right now i don't sound like myself and also if i look all the type of crazy obviously i'm not wearing in makeup but if i look a little sickly or anything like that that's because um i've been sick i think i had covid for the first time i don't know maybe second time now i never had it during the pandemic this time around it was covid i mean it was bad but honestly and again when you're serving the lord it's like i see it as a blessing because i've been go 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 and the lord has been telling me to rest and i just don't know how to rest especially now since i've gotten my stuff i feel like i'm like constantly cleaning doing things around the house i can be restless sometimes you know always like finding something to do even though if it's not like a big thing but i still find things to do and also going on my walks doing this doing that and the Lord's been telling me, like, you need to rest, girl. I haven't been listening, so a lot of time for me, another for me to rest, I have to be sick, unfortunately. But again, I just saw it as a blessing. Honestly, I've been enjoying it. I will be drinking tea all day long. So I've been making ginger tea. Thank goodness. Just like God is so good. So when I went to Whole Foods, I OD'd on the ginger. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get so much ginger. And I guess that's why I ended up with the ginger. I was literally prepping, I guess, to be sick unknowingly. I mean, just like God is just so good. He just like make you do this like things just to prepare you for things drinking ginger tea morning afternoon evening night can't really like smell anything anyways and i can't really taste anything properly i made my favorite breakfast sandwich it tasted so bad 
out but today i'm actually not eating i think i was telling you guys that before i don't know if it's something that i'm gonna continue all year long but one thing that i started doing was actually you know giving the lord the first day of the month so it's kind of like his day so on that day i kind of like fast all day but as you can see i am in my natural hair which is something you rarely see but i don't know maybe you guys will be seeing me in my natural hair more often don't get excited this is my second time trying to do this i finally found a video on tiktok i tried it last time i did wash my hair the other day also i don't know whenever i get a cold or i'm sick like that i do find washing my hair is the perfect way to actually like heal me or make me get better faster i don't know what it is about washing my hair okay, this is my hair i do need to trim so bad i need to trim it I have the scissor and everything i did measure my hair the other day i want to do like the slow points because i do think they're like so chic and i could never do them in the past but i finally found like a youtube video not youtube I struggle to find youtube videos because i don't know people on youtube always be doing the most like get to the point please that's why i love tiktok like don't get me wrong i love youtube i, I think i love youtube for like when i'm relaxing but for me to learn something a lot of times i do not want to learn it from youtube i am sorry like a recipe oh my god they're gonna give you so many stories about their grandmas in the 1900s i'm sorry give me the recipe i'm not trying to spend an hour in the kitchen that's why i don't even cook haitian food because haitian food takes five hours to make so i love your grandma but just tell me what to do that's why i love tiktok tiktok is just so easy once you plug in something in the search all the videos related to that thing comes up and then you can actually watch and pick what you want and then the thing about youtube is because every video it's like five to ten minutes you end up wasting so much time trying to find like the right video for you compared to tiktok it could literally be like 30 seconds of someone showing you how to make something in 30 seconds and you cannot beat that usually the best app i mean youtube is but tiktok is a close second if not like tied together it's the best app to learn things honestly you've already missed the best part of tiktok but it's still pretty good download tiktok please it will change your life like the things that you will learn on tiktok is just amazing well maybe not i shouldn't be promoting it so much because you probably won't be spending as much time on youtube youtube for me is tv i don't necessarily care for tv because tv is not what it used to be anymore how did we end up here all right let's get back to subject never mind what was i saying my hair so and also i need to go to the store and get some rosemary so i can make my rosemary spray because when i was making my rosemary spray when i tell you my hair was going so fast and it's been going so fast and i haven't even been doing anything i do need a trim as i've been talking for 16 minutes and i'm just trying a few things until i find what works again i need to work on the shape this is my second time. I think I showed you in one of the previous vlog what it looks like last time I tried to do this. I think it's so cute. That's the update, guys. Like I had COVID. I've been in the house being a bum. But it's been good, though. Like I said, it's just like the perfect rest that I've needed. And now I'm finally getting better. So hopefully by tomorrow or by the end of this week, I'm good. See you guys later. Let me go. Good morning guys, first day that I am feeling up to going back out. Of course I just spilled my ginger shot all over me. Sometimes I'm like, does my mouth has a hole in there? It does not make a sense. Whenever I'm drinking something, I don't know how I manage to like have it all over my mouth. Off at 626. Let's go a little bit later than I would like if I am honest with you. My thing did not move. I think the first day that I did it, it was just going crazy, but there has been no movement so i'm hoping on the second day it will be better i need to learn how to make it 80 degrees outside it's gonna be up in 100 yeah we gotta hurry up let's go it is time for us to make brekkie i hope it tastes good but honestly my taste bud is still not back i still can't really smell anything i don't know what it's smelling like inside the house i mean i didn't mop yesterday yesterday i was cleaning and cleaning Actually, I was on the phone with my friend Lucy They're from Italy. Yeah, I was just cleaning because I had that burst of energy. I'm just like, God, I'm going to use that burst of energy to actually clean. So I mop over here, did a few things. So, oh, I just love that I became a cleaning person. This garlic thing, it's like the best thing ever. Hopefully, this bring my taste buds back. But I may have to do like a shot of cognac again because yeah, it, it helps a lot. Like alcohol helps. Like, I have a friend, like every time she has, like it goes away in like two seconds she drank haitian rum i would say drink some rum dark liquor though well i mean any type of liquor would do but i think dark liquor works better 
but I don't know. I don't think it matters what kind of liquor. It's definitely not wine though. You need like liquor liquor. If you know what I mean, jelly bean. This is gonna be so garlicky. We love that. I'm gonna put some lemon too. My first day back, I'm already ranting on Instagram. I hate the app so much. Every time you go back in the app, they make it worse. Every time you go, it's just like this app cannot catch a fucking break, man. You now. I want quiet money. Kind of way to make money online without being the face of it. Oh, I just don't feel the need to be seen. Oh, someone was asking me about like fashion content. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be making any fashion content like that. But the overconsumption that I use to partake in, it's not going to be like that. Most people don't know. I actually hate having a lot of stuff. I don't like having a lot of clothes. I went to like a minimalist phase a few years ago and since then, Hello guys, we are back. So I never thought I would fall a victim to this, but I did. It finally got to me. TikTok shop finally got to me. I finally fell into the hole. When I saw this cute little dress, guys, I could not resist. You guys know how much I love a white dress. As soon as I saw it, oh my goodness, I have to have it. And I clicked on it and it was only nine bucks. Like how could I resist a little dress? for nine bucks. Tax, it came to $10. Free shipping on top of it. I didn't have to wear the week for it, but I did get a size medium. I'm gonna put it on, and then it just looked like a cute little thing to just like wear in the house, or for me personally, I think this would be cute for like hotel breakfast. I love looking super cute and feminine for like hotel breakfast. I don't know why, I just wanna feel girly. And I think I've told you guys this story before, but this is probably one of the most embarrassing moments in my entire life. 10 years ago when my friend was here and I, we went to Italy in Milan at a hotel. We're going for breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning and I just threw on my night dress. You know like black people, we all, we all have like a house dress. I think I brought mine with me. So that's kind of like my hotel dress right back from going outside when I'm in the hotel, Jesus, pop it on or whatever. So at the time I used to never wear pajamas so I used to wear my house dress at my pajamas. I threw it out on. I remember exactly the dress. It was a dress that I came, that I bought back from Haiti actually. It was a cute little orange dress printed we both looking like bums going for breakfast and we walked in we literally thought it was a comfort room all the men were in suits all the ladies were in the most beautiful dresses their hair was done everything was done and since then i vowed to never show up to hotel breakfast looking like a bum and since then i will always make sure my something is done i always make sure i'm ready i mean when i'm on vacation a lot of time i try to wake up early to do my makeup because i know my makeup takes a long time or what i'll do is i would actually do my hair i just think like your oh, hair if your hair is done everything else is just like secondary so i'll still wear something cute though i would still wear like a cute outfit to go so I will never like throw on just anything for hotel breakfast. So since that day, never ever make that mistake again. This is the type of dress I was thinking. And also this is a cute dress for me to relax in my house. Like I said, I took a medium. Honestly, just go to TikTok. It will save you a lot more money. I hope the breast part, you know, fits. But let's actually go try it on. dress is here. It is a little bit too snug, but I know we still have 10 pounds to go. But the thing is, I don't even want to go back to that skinny skinny that I was. I think I was a little bit like too thin. Goal is 15, but I think I would be happy with like 10. I feel like I've been losing weight, but I don't really see any reduction on my chest. Back then, that was the first place, you know, that used to go was the chest when I, when I lost weight because most of it was in my chest. But now after surgery, I don't know if that's kind of like change your body. Is chemistry the right word? I don't think chemistry is the right word, but body functions or whatever it is, how I lose weight now. Yeah, this used to be the, the first places, you know, the chest and the, uh, and the belly, but now I'm like, mm. but I do feel like, you know, 10 more pounds would be like, you know, like a good little spot to be at. I would be more comfortable. But it's okay though. This is the dress, as you can see, it's a little bit tight than I would like. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more loose on me i should have gotten a large for the price honestly i may get the large i'm still gonna keep this you probably get the large as well i can have my little loewe beach bag this could be like a cute boat look i think this would be like superb for a little boat outing what do we think what do we think what do we think it's making pasta for the first time it's so easy three ingredients really actually two one egg and and half a cup of flour i'm making one serving this is my first time ever making pasta so i'm so excited to actually see how it turns out it's sort of like a lemon garlicky sauce to go with it so you're gonna melt some butter add a lot of garlic this time around i'm adding lemon and now i'm boiling pasta you only need to boil it for like two minutes and then you're gonna add the cheese i almost forgot the cheese let's get the cheese We 
pieces of pepper. It's almost like making tacho bebe. All right, so we're gonna have a taste test to see if, if, if this is actually better than, so good. Wow, that is fresh AF. Wow, that is beautiful. This is stunning actually. All right guys, I am out. Well, I am at the post office. I just dropped off a purchase. Now, I just remembered in my log, which one was it? I think it was the one where like things were looking up. It was the one right before I move in. I ended up going back to this cute little hotel where I found the beautiful park, even though I couldn't spend time there because my allergies were so bad. I ended up finding this like, like a farmer's market style grocery store. They had such good stuff there. So guess what? I'm gonna go back there because it's really close by. I was actually gonna walk 24 minutes there. There are these almonds, honey, almond thing, majiggy. That was so good. So I'm gonna go back and get some of them. And I also need some honey. I called my Uber, which was $3.99 to, to go to that place. Can you imagine? Like sometimes I literally feel bad to call Ubers because of how like cheap they are and I'm just like $3.99 what is this person even going to like get from it the thing on top of that they like so nice such good folks such you know good energy it's just it's amazing to see so I'm just waiting for the car to get here but typically when I come here I walk to the Spanish grocery store because it's right around the corner El Rancho but I like to go to, to El Rancho to get like a lot of stuff because the stuff is so affordable there it's where I should be going to do my shopping as we're reunited with Cox Farms Market whatever it's called yeah it's Cox Farms Market they even had merch that I wanted to Ooh, look at the watermelons this looks good these Texas tomatoes $2.49 per pound all right get a at all the stuff we are back because this is where i need to go do my shopping at first i thought it was a little bit expensive for what it was didn't have anything to compare it with really now since i've been going to tom thumb tom thumb make everywhere else look so cheap their stuff is good stuff and what i love about it is a small grocery store it's not a lot so you don't have a lot of like different millionaire produce so they only select just a couple of brands which is perfect i got some rosemary i've been wanting to get some so i can make the rosemary water for my hair big avocado i should have gotten some chips because i was like oh it's gonna be for july you know i don't have anyone here with me so maybe i could make some guacamole and chips and something like that i also got some organic bananas and today i thought maybe i would make soup i got the kettle on fire beef broth also i got some italian parsley these beautiful carrots and this is what i've been craving it's this honey roasted peanuts when i tell you i'm not the biggest fan of peanuts especially american peanuts but this roasted peanuts honey roasted peanuts are literally one of the best things ever some oats because i want to make my own oatmeal i can also make oatmeal and then i got this honey again and a cabbage Oh, plus I got this. Oh, this is this organic, creamy, dairy-free. This is like probiotics. Cheers. This is the kind of shots we take now, ginger shots. It's not so bad. Even though I'm scrunching up my, my face. Good morning, guys. Guess what? Back on my walks. Hopefully, this is me getting back to my routine. It's 7.55. Didn't get out as early as possible, but you know what? Thank goodness it was cloudy out. It was actually perfect, but um, I'm good with the sun until about 9. But I still try to get back home by before 8. We are back before 8. I'm gonna get ready. Today might be the first day that I put some makeup on. It's been over a week because I had COVID. And I'm still not in the mood for my breakfast sandwich because my taste bud kind of like ruined it for me because it tasted so bad. And now I'm just like, oh, I don't want, don't even want to think about a breakfast sandwich so i'm just gonna make oats thank goodness i still have bananas so i'll finish them very soon in the new future i want to have a costco card so i can get some stuff in bulk and i say this is better than like drinking alcohol just do healthy shots oh that's the other thing also yesterday i did make a cocktail one of my favorite cocktail ever it's a, a pisco sour alcohol is one of the things where i can't really drink it anymore i don't enjoy it i don't like it i'll have two sips and ooh, 
I don't like the way this tastes. I don't like the way this makes me feel. And also the Holy Spirit has been convicting me to like not drink, especially like hard liquor. It's been really hard for me to, to drink these days, which I'm not mad about actually, because alcohol is not good for you anyways. And I used to never drink. I really picked up this habit. You really have to be careful who you surround yourself with, honestly, because I used to never drink. Not really. I used to always find alcohol like disgusting. I remember like when I was so much younger, when I used to go out with people and they're like, oh, you're not drinking? I was like, no, I don't really like alcohol like that going back to be careful who you surround yourself with because you are the sum of like the people that you hang out with one of my friends i used to work together and then we started like hitting the bars every day she used to get so drunk every night she would get drunk and then she used to like embarrass me it was just like the craziest thing it's to the point where i was just like i can't go out with you if you're gonna embarrass me like this like, yeah that's how i kind of like picked up drinking and then the pandemic happened and then boom it kind of like escalated drinking. I was like drinking two glasses of wine every day. Insanity, insanity. That's probably what messed up my metabolism too. I was doing that for like a year or two, like drinking every day. Every couple of days, I was ordering like a bottle of wine. It was, it was bad, it was bad. Any alcohol is bad, alcohol is poison. Spirit, that's why they call liquor like spirits because it eats away your spirit, your soul. So especially like hard liquor, like the Holy Spirit has been convicted me to not drink cocktails anymore you could have like a glass of wine like, not only that it affects my skin again it affects your metabolism especially if you're trying to like lose weight it's just not a good combination anyways i don't leave wine to drink when i'm on vacation when i'm on vacation but even then like ultimately i would love to just not drink i mean i can honestly once in a while you know if you're celebrating i mean do you need it or you could just stick to water like juice i found a company that has non-alcoholic stuff i've been using them to make mocktail they're so good it's Sid lip i got in a bottle and i had never used it until last month and it was so good like you couldn't even tell especially with the fresh victor this is another place also fresh victor those juices i need to try these sea salt i think i tried the sea salt it's actually good guys i'm gonna get ready we are back i've gotten ready it's 10 o'clock now today is Erin's day so many places to go to i'm hoping everything that i can find i can find it within you know a couple of stores so i am ready for 10 tank you already know pants are from and other stories then you know and other stories always have amazing linen for the summertime i got these on a size six and they're already too big i did my wax i think i remember telling you guys i think it was like back in november i told you guys that i was going to start doing my own waxes and i have not looked back since let me actually show you what I use, if you are interested. It's so easy, I think it was November, I don't remember. I, I believe it was on Thanksgiving, I remember go. Um, hold on. You know me, I'm always listening to worship music. This is the kit that I got from Amazon. I believe this was like 29 bucks or 35 bucks. I've been doing my own waxes, like I said, for the past five months now. I believe it was November. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was November. And the wax beads it came with, it just ended. It's so easy to use. I mean, the first time I did struggle a little bit, but now I feel like I'm technically a pro now. I've gotten so good at it. It's just so easy for me. It comes with the little spatula thing for the wax. It comes with the pre-spray after spray this is what it looks like it's been in use as you can see you can see all the hardened wax i don't even wear gloves anymore when i do this i can't see myself going open my legs in front of someone and have them wax me and i never felt comfortable anyway call me a pood but i never felt comfortable like spreading my legs in front of like a different stranger every month mm, i need to do my own wax because i can't shave like razors just give me the worst bumps it's so bad I don't really have that issue anymore if you've been wanting to do your own wax maybe i should do a video on the things that i stopped doing not to necessarily to cut costs but it's, it's part of it a lot of beauty treatments are so inconvenient to me like if i could do my own facial at home i would do it i want to do things when i am inspired to do them now i've never been a nail girl anyways i've always prefer to do my nails at home i have this thing in my head that i don't think the stuffs are clean enough i don't want to catch like disease or st whatever it is mm -mm. it's not even healthy like breathing in all those chemicals and you know putting your fingers into those uv lights they used to burn my little fingers every time my hands would go underneath that very very happy i've never been a nail girl and even when i tried i it just wouldn't last i don't like fake nails that's the other thing also i don't like fake nails i need to feel my real nails i'm so glad there's a lot of things i don't really feel pressure to do or get done i've never been like a hair 
girl anyways so i used to never really get my i don't really need to get my hair done i don't like my hair glued at all i don't want so i don't want to bust that i don't want any of that i know a lot of people try to make me a bad b but that's not me i'm not a bad b i'm just a chic little simple girl people try to turn into something else but no 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 not for me this is not me like right now my hair is just like i don't know for me it's perfect as long as it looks neat or that's all that i care about other than that maybe like food i stop basically eating out like that for sure i make an exception you know if i'm meeting up with a friend but i kind of like stop eating out for a long time now I'm too much talking for what break i am joking this is not an ad but i frequently wanted to show you guys this beautiful dress do you guys know jay mclaughlin is one of my favorite places to shop if you love the kind of like coastal aesthetic they are the perfect place for that they've been collaborating with this tastemaker philippa de abreu i hope i'm pronouncing that correct <laughs> or abreu she's portuguese so she did a collaboration with them and then this is one of the dress from the collaboration stunning is this and it features like my three favorite colors together white yellow you guys know how much i love yellow and then green green is like my new favorite color that i've been trying to add to my wardrobe for the past couple of years again it's supposed to go over your shoulders but i don't think i like it over the shoulders i just feel like it gives too granny over the shoulder i just feel like i love it like this off shoulder i feel like the off shoulder gives it like a more chic vibe also from Gemma glocken they make some of my favorite basket style bags every year i always get one from them and i still have all of the ones from like every year and last year i actually went on a trip with them to uh not nantucket what's the place it's in the uh what is this place called it's in the hamptons like another side of the hamptons um i'm gonna link the video so you guys can check it out but when i saw this i was like i've been on the market for a basket style clutch but something that was like chic enough that i can actually wear out at night time classy events finally found the perfect one like this material it's just everything and then you have the bamboo which gives it like a more casual vibe but at the same time like the shape of chef's kiss it i love this clutch so much plus it just has pocket i'm wearing a size small by the way i'm gonna link everything below for you guys if you are interested i'm so excited for this dress i cannot wait to wear this on vacation i am actually pairing it i was contemplating selling these shoes i listed them and i removed them these i mean amuaris i was thinking instead of selling them i would rather give them to my cousin than to actually sell them for less than 500 bucks and the way the market is right now nobody's really like buying anything because i think we're just like finding out like designers is just gimmicks at the spread right designer stuff is just gimmicks just, you're just paying for the name i don't know if you guys saw the article the other day like it takes due or 57 dollars to make the purse they try to sell you for four thousand dollars and the thing is dior purses don't even hold up values to begin with i think i am done buying designer stuff i've never looked at something designer and thought oh i'm glad i got this like if anything i always regret everything designer that i've ever purchased i wouldn't say i will never buy designer again but i'm getting close to it i'm like i don't really care anymore another thing also i am going back to sort of my personal style which I think I was trying to go in another direction with my style, especially after my surgery. Since I could wear more stuff, I was trying to change my style up a little bit and wear other things. But one thing that I realized, because of my body shape, a lot of things just don't really suit me. Like the style that I love, it just does not suit my body. You can't, what is the saying? You can't fit 
a square into a hole or something like that yeah that's saying so definitely dress for your body shape because i think a lot of time especially online when we see someone wear something and then we just want to go crazy and buy it not realizing does it look good because that person is skinny right take into account your body shape like christopher s bread dresses not for my body shape i cannot wear any of these styles it would make me look crazy and you know what as much as i don't really like to wear style of dresses like this it is the style that fits my body the most it's just like what can i do i need volume on the bottom because i am top heavy and also i need flow yeah the kind of stuff that, that works for my body shape just like being in texas now i feel so free it's so freeing and also because in the city sometimes i just felt like i couldn't wear stuff like that it's not chic enough for the city it's more sort of like country i guess i have a more country style in a way not all the way but you know what it is what it is but it is maxi on me I cannot wait to take this on vacation with me this is it oh and i also got this rattan belt i've been on the market for a rattan belt for the longest time ah! sorry guys oh my lord i forgot i just painted my toes when you just paint your toes you're not supposed to be wearing shoes like this oh no completely ruined after you pinch your toes you need at least a good at least 24 before you should be trying on shoes i just completely ruined my toes now i have to pick them all over again i didn't like them anyway so this is the rattan belt so you can actually belt this as well if you want to i plan on wearing this with another jam of lock dress that i have in white and i feel like it would look so cute and also there's a lot of like white dresses i would like to belt them sometimes but i don't have the right rattan belt for them how cute is this i wouldn't wear the belt with this because i think it's a little bit too too much it's cute though this over a white dress with what i have i don't have any cheese heavy i don't have anything to make this pasta good not even lemon so i know it's looking like soup <laughs> that's what we're gonna eat at least this homemade pasta right as you can see pasta is so easy to make it might look like soup but it is so delicious <laughs> so i was just trying to use the tomatoes because it's about to be a week tomorrow i'm just trying to use whatever i have in this dish it is so delicious because i want to make ravioli so i may just get the ravioli shaped things mm. so good it's 5 11 um it looks like it's gonna rain in the next hour so now i'm gonna go to walmart just get a couple of things i have one thing to return i want to put my rug but if i put the rug then part of my mattress is gonna touch the floor i don't want that because right now it's sitting on top of the plastic that it came with so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna wait until i get the bed not in a rush and hopefully i get the bed very soon i've seen a couple of options on facebook marketplace but i would love someone who has like a big truck you know like a pickup truck i want a pickup truck i feel like i need a pickup truck in my house when i have a house like that needs to be one of our cars i love a good pickup truck it kind of like reminds me of haiti i used to literally run in the back of her pickup truck but it would be so easy for me to just go and pick up some of the furniture that i found on facebook marketplace whoops all right never mind uber is here let's go back from walmart like the plastic wrap for making pasta or baking or whatever else i need to make some napkins for the house coffee because i'm running low stello is a caribbean staple a bit strong and then you already know this is a haitian household again we need the plantains i might fry up some tonight and i've just been craving some like steak i haven't really had meat i've literally been craving it i wanted to get some ground beef to make meatballs but next thyme peppers so the ones that i use for my for my pickles i got some lemons and then over here i needed flour I use flour a lot if i'm making pizza or if i'm making pasta i got bananas because i have not been in the mood like a savory breakfast 
since I got COVID, I, I've just been craving just like something so boring, like oatmeal. That's what I've been eating every morning. And then I've got some hooks. As you saw, I was making my pasta earlier. I didn't have the thing to cut it. So I got a pizza cutter. It's gonna work both ways. A pizza cutter and also as a pasta cutter. I've needed some maple syrup. I like the dark, robust ones. So I might make pancakes tomorrow. I got some cayenne pepper because I need that. There used to be this thing that I used to do in the morning. I drink olive oil with some cayenne pepper in there. It's really, really good for your stomach. It's almost like a massage for your tummy. I also got milk. What I tell you, Walmart is where I need to do most of my shopping. I got the extra creamy milk and pads. You don't need to see that. This is one of the main things I want to get is this drawer organizer for my cutlery. It's been driving me crazy how my cutlery is all over the place. I'm gonna go and actually organize that right about now. I always buy one of this every time I'm there. Let's go ahead and organize. Oh, I got cinnamon from India. Vadam. This looks really cool. I told you guys the cinnamon that I currently have, it's such low quality. It's horrible. Um, every time I put it in something and I'm like, why did I even bother? It's not one of you can sprinkle. And I guess I'll let you guys know how it is. Little blush to clean the back. Let's go ahead and organize that. I have 700 steps to make it to 10,000. It's still pretty early. It's only like 6.59. to finish up 10,000 steps. I got two ice cream because they're on a special atom. Never tried the strawberry. So we're gonna try the strawberry and then the pistachio almond is one of my faves. So one of those. Let's try the strawberry. I'm not a big strawberry person. The only thing strawberry I like, I think we all know this cream candy. I think it's made in Colombia or something. I've never been like a big ice cream person. But Texas has turned me into an ice cream person. I finally found an ice cream brand that I actually quite like. I really like Bluebell. You already know, guys. Always do the apple cider vinegar. And honestly, that's one of the reasons why my tummy has just been, like, flat. Bloating. It's really controlled my bloating. I went down considerably on my belly area. If you're gonna put apple cider vinegar, make sure you have a straw because it's ruin your teeth and you do not want that. And you don't even taste it. But actually my friend Peggy, she gave me this little gift like almost 10 years ago and I still have it. It's this little music, it has a CD. It's like music and cooking. I've never listened to this. I have, no, I have a cassette player. I don't have like a CD player. No, I need a CD player. That's why I miss my old Mac. I miss the old computer so badly. I was telling her like when she comes comes visit me, we should try this. One of the thing is a crusted lamb with pissed two potatoes this i cannot wait to make this i think i've attempted to make one of the dessert in here chocolate almond it has drinks also this is such a cute little book making pancakes today again I get all my recipes from TikTok just so easy to follow them on there another mix 
And then we'll mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients together. This is how I usually like my pancake batter. It's kind of thick and it just like barely runs off your spatula. Our job here is done. Let's move over. Can I tell you, I'm so happy to be reunited with my stuff. I don't think you guys understand. I haven't seen my things in almost a year. It's just amazing. As you can see, it's fluffy. These are the pancakes. Let's actually see how they are. Fruits like strawberries and blueberries look prettier on pancakes, but I actually don't like them on my pancakes. For me, bananas are the only thing I like and tolerate on pancakes. I know, call me crazy, but it's the only thing I like on my pancakes. For me, the berries, it's like opposite taste. For me, it doesn't really taste right. Mmm. This is not bad at all. It's missing something though. I don't know, maybe it's the, the butter that I didn't have. The butter makes it taste better though, when you cook it in the butter. Every time I open that drawer now, I literally get so happy. I can't believe now I'm turning into like an organized queen. Like when my things are organized, and also that is one thing that God has been putting on my heart lately also. It's just like you have to stay clean. You Like your house has to be in order. Like I remember last year I had so many moments where a brand sent me something for delivery and my apartment was such a mess and they couldn't necessarily come in because I didn't really want to spend money on that apartment. It's just like I knew I wasn't going to be there for long. Oh, finally, it feels good to be eating on my couch. But uh, I just knew, like my spirit just knew I wasn't going to be in that apartment for long. I didn't want to like spend a lot of money buying furniture and even then i waited so long to buy furniture and i still end up regretting a lot of the things that i bought except for the couch the couch is like the only thing i don't regret pretty much everything else i do regret getting like my dining room table i regret getting that i thought oh i was gonna start entertaining i was gonna like start throwing dinner parties and it was around the same time where god literally took all my friends away like <laughs> literally everyone it's just so funny how that happened because god did tell me not to buy that table but I went and bought it anyways. That's why obedience is better than sacrifice. Listen to him. That same week, um, I think it was on that same month where I prayed that prayer, like, you know, Lord, where should I move? It was on like, Thanksgiving and stuff. One thing I regret about my New York City apartment, it's like I've always wanted like the perfect New York City apartment so my friends can stay with me when they visit New York. Nobody visited New York. Well, at least none of my friends. None of my friends from other places really visited New York, which actually made me sad because I'm like, finally, I have this beautiful apartment. Like, come through, folks. Like, come stay with me. But nobody really came to New York that year. I didn't have the opportunity. So good. You know the thing about pancakes? Even though I crave them sometimes, I always regret, like, eating them. I don't think I've ever eaten pancakes and thought, oh, yeah, I'm so glad I ate that. Always, always. The minute I'm done eating and I was just, ugh. Why did I eat that? No more pancakes for us. I tell you, I feel disgusted right now. Especially, I didn't even go on my hot girl walk this morning. But don't worry though, I'm gonna get my 10,000 steps later. I much prefer doing half in the morning because it's so easy to do the other half in the evening. water when I tell you I could not wait for this so you're just gonna boil this for like 10 minutes and then you're gonna let it cool all the way down and then we're gonna transfer it to like a plastic bottle I just look for something that's like 11 hours and then I just play it all day long my feet fell. oh this is one of my favorite songs too for 15 minutes and then yeah you just buy like a bunch of these well, guys I finally made some good pickles oh when I tell you this tastes so good Way too spicy though, I put five peppers. Five peppers in this. But I like it spicy. <clears throat> As you can see, I like it spicy though. Last time I added way too much vinegar, not enough lime, and less vinegar. So Look much. Look at the sunset. Look at this thing. Ooh. 